What's up, guys? It's T Bone here, and welcome to another episode of uh, Let's Play Legendary Game of Heroes. This is actually going to be the tenth episode since I started the series, and I just want to say thanks for all the support. Uh, so today we're going to be going to uh, look at a new event. Uh, this is the the Legends Ascent finale. I guess this is the third and the final event uh, for the month, where they're going to allow you to ascend one of the legendary heroes, and this time it's going to be for Dojin. And I'm a little sad because I actually don't have any of the three legendary uh, units that they were uh, ascending. I have uh, Ray and Kata, and I don't have the other three. So I'm a little sad I don't get them. Uh, but, you know, it's it's still fun. I still enjoy this event. So let's go and see what this is all about. So just like the previous two for Almar and uh, Aline, you can actually ascend um, Dojin by collecting these various uh, components. All right? So just like previously, you still need to get a Legendary Crown Shard, uh, you need to get Ascended uh, Essence, and then you need to collect the, the gem and the skulls. And you can actually use the Ascending Stones from previous events, you haven't used it yet, uh, to actually uh, ascend Dojin this time. So if you have not yet watched it, I would actually uh, recommend that you take a look at uh, Mappy Shadowborn's uh, video from the previous event that was a commander-based event. He did a really good job uh, explaining the gameplay and sort of the mechanics of it. Uh, you can see the link in this video, so uh, go check it out. Uh, I think it's a really good resource. So, uh, so then let me talk about the units that are available for this event. So the first thing is first, um, if you go to the feature packs, you can see the first one is going to be uh, Athena. So the feature unit is Athena, and as you purchase the packs, you can actually have a chance to get Dojin as well. So if you don't have him, that's a that's an opportunity to get him if you wanted to. Uh, so in tier one and two, there's no guarantees, but it increases the uh, chances for for receiving, uh, uh, you know, the highest, the, you know, chances for for receiving a legendary uh, unit. And it's a so Athena is a uh, type warrior. And also a demigod, and so keep that in mind as you uh, build up your deck. And her, she, so she's a, a bounty hunter as well as an earth commander. So that means uh, she'll be able to get you more trophies as well as uh, give you the ten time bonus when you attack. Uh, her leadership skill is to increase the the uh, recovery for all the earth heroes. But her battle skill is really the one that is going to be very interesting, where it greatly increases the drop rate of Earth gems until your next turn. So that means every time you can match a gem, the ones that drop will be Earth, which then uh, continues to drop and then continues to build up your um, continue to build up your your multiplier. And if you remember, multipliers are the way to get the uh, the greatest amount of uh, attack. So that's going to be really useful. And then, uh, as with most events now, there's a secondary uh, pack, which is going to be Vulcan. So Vulcan is uh, basically the green version of uh, I forget the name of it. There's a fiery one that does that 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 uh, looks pretty much the same, and you can also have a chance to get Robin Hood uh, as well as um, I, I I missed the name earlier. But there's three different units that you can get, right? So here's Vulcan. We can take a look at Vulcan here. Uh, so it's a warrior demigod just like uh, Athena. And you can take a look to see this one also is a, a 10, 10 times Bounty Hunter as well as a 10 times Earth Commander at 6 stars. Uh, the leadership skill here is 300% damage and health and HP for all Earth Warriors heroes. So that's going to be really good because uh, just like the previous Commander event with a Lady Justice, you're going to get a lot of uh, damage boost. And this one, uh, the battle skill destroys up to 15 Water Gems and uh, attacks the Water Enemy. For 600% attack, so you destroy a lot of gems, get a lot of uh, drops, and then uh, hopefully you can match for for um, an added bonus uh, for attack. Now, just like the very last event for Eline, if you uh, pay attention, you can actually get a. Um, let me see where does this where can you see this? Um, here it is. So if you go to this menu, you will see that uh, there's a collect six star go uh, Dojin's axe and this is where, besides the pack, you can also get a secondary Vulcan, right? So you want to make sure that you get one of the Earth units. You can get it from a pack, or you can purchase it in the shop. And then uh, you want to get the uh, the anvils, and then you want to get enough trophies. Once you get enough trophies, uh, 250,000 trophies, you'll get a free Vulcan to, to level up. So highly, highly recommend that uh, you do not uh, get rid of the unit, and I'm going to tell you which one that is so I can show it to you. Uh, so if you purchase a pack for Athena and then you end up getting, let's see here, uh, this one. 
So it's going to be the ancient swamp part. Make sure you don't sell him until you at least uh, get your second Vulcan before you uh, disband him or sell him uh, for dust. All right. So let's go in and take a look at the deck now that I'm building for this event. Now there's two two different decks I'm building. The first one is uh, based on my demigod, so we can take a look here. So my demigod deck uh, centers around uh, Robin Hood, who provides additional 200% damage for all demigod heroes. And the demigod heroes I have are uh, Lilith and uh, also Calfseal and then Vulcan as well. So these are the three demigods I have. And then uh, I brought in my uh, Rensbok Basilisk because he provides a three times multiplier for uh, Commander. And um, unfortunately, he's a warrior and he's not a uh, demigod, so I don't get a bonus here. So that's one, um, you know one deck that I'm building around. And then the other one is going to be taking advantage of the fact that um, Vulcan provides additional damage for all warrior earth heroes. So you can take a look here. Uh, so the leadership skill is uh, currently at three stars, 175% damage and in, in HP for all earth warriors. So I built a deck around him using my my earth warrior. So that's going to be the Ren Basilisk, uh, Quetzal the Vis Vicious, which is a warrior dragon, and also my em Emerald Titan, who is also a warrior uh, giant. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to level him up to six stars, uh, but at 1.1k one, 1. 1, um, uh, attack, you know, it's, it's going to be okay, including all the multipliers. And then I have Robin Hood here again to get the four times multiplier. So these are the two decks I'm, I'm playing with. Let's take a look at both of them and see how it goes. So let's first uh, make sure that we get enough keys. So... I kind of went through, already collected a few, and I have uh, two out of five keys now. And what you can do is make sure that uh, you take advantage of the fact that every 24 hours, you get a chance to purchase more keys using your honor points. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase five times the three uh, times charge. At three, uh, basically, you get three each time, so then you get a total of 15 keys. And now let's go ahead and uh, go, go on attack. And I'm going to borrow one of my one of our friends you know, let's go just go grab this one. We'll start with the demigod deck. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Now these are gonna be easy because this is only at a uh, level two where it just requires two keys, it's not the, the, the hardest yet. Um, but you know, as you go higher, you know, you'll want to make sure that you have the right unit makeup to really deal enough damage. And it's really going to be the big bosses that's gonna matter. All right, so let's see here. Um, so if I go to this, I'm not gonna be able to match my other Earth chance, but it's okay. So right now I have four units that will um, uh, provide the the, the bonus uh, gems. So that's gonna be really helpful. Um, so I'm not gonna have to provide any attacks here until the next turn. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and do the one of these things and then um, move it to the wrong spot. I wanted to move my power gem close so that I could actually just uh, um, match it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and sacrifice one turn. And then I'm going to match the two power gems. Now this is a power gem that's also a commander gem, so I can actually match these two together. And let's see. So seven times multiplier, I should have enough to to, to kill uh, Kronos, the boss, because again, it's only at um, you know level two type uh, boss, so the health is not very high. All right. So that is the Earth deck. And. What's nice with the de uh, with the, my demigod deck, and if we kind of keep going here, is if you take a look, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring another unit back if I can. Uh, so I'll bring in Dojin at uh, six stars. He um, provides a four times multiplier. Now with with um, Robin Hood, he actually has a very nice um, passive ability, and Here's a trick I forgot I, I, I kind of use that people don't, I never explained it. If you press and hold any of your characters, 
it will show you the leadership skill as well as the battle skill. Um, but it doesn't show you the passive skills here. So his passive skill is that if you do an attack, it will go ahead and actually attack uh, all other enemies uh, for some, some, some damage. So if you don't kill them from the first time, it will actually kill uh, att uh, attack them again later. Now, because all of my heroes are uh, Earth heroes, I'm probably not going to be able to do any damage without killing all of them. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so because they're too weak right now, I can't actually show you. So I will just um, I will just show you the stats later. Um, and it does not does not kick in until you actually have an effective attack. And so that's why uh, I can't show you because I, I actually should have picked another uh, hero that's a different color so that I can match that gem and then show you show it show it to you. Um, but if you have Robin Hood, you can actually get them uh, in a pack as well, and then you can see that in action. All right, so let's just go ahead and finish this up. And then I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the other bosses uh, right after this. So the treasures you get are, um, you either get a combination of the uh, Earth Potion 2, or you get one of the Gladiator Helm uh, shards, and I believe that's to use to level up Athena. All right, and I'll go ahead and think. And then when you go to the the boss arena, the three different bosses that you're going to be attacking are either going to be a Sheriff, Lyda, or Kronos. Lyda is one of the uh, one of the units that you could actually get uh, from a couple of events ago. So. These are the three units, uh, the different bosses for you to attack. And once you get your um, boss level to about 100 or so, uh, 101, Kayla will start showing up and then you can attack her for uh, a lot of uh, trophies and a lot of uh, loot. So that is all for, for today's episode. Thank you for, uh, for watching and uh, let me know if there's any feedback and let me know what you like to see. Hope you have a, you know, a good time, enjoy the event, and we'll see you at the top and see you next time.